Hey guys, this is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles and I look ridiculous right now. Very, very ridiculous. And I went to the to the fucking beach in this shit and all the girls were leering at me and I kind of felt like girls feel. I was like, holy shit, everybody's looking at me. But with this ridiculousness that I feel, I just want to tell you guys something that's very important. And that is to be honestly yourself. You're probably saying to yourself, this guy is just another guy saying, be yourself. You know, just be yourself and everybody will love you. Just be yourself and you'll be happy. I wish I could tell you that, but I'm not. The reason why is, is because that's the worst and the best advice on earth. The reason why I can't tell you that is because then you'll say, well, am I being myself right now? When I'm watching you right now, am I not being myself? When I'm with my family, am I being myself or am I not being myself? The good answer to this is to so stop even trying to figure out what be yourself mean. Be yourself is one of the most confusing things that you'll ever come across on earth and one of the best things you'll ever come across. Just let it go because everybody has their own little version of it and I'm not here to give you just another version of be yourself. But be honest to yourself, that is a different thing. And why can't you connect to that? Why is that something that means a lot to you when I say be honest to yourself? Because you know when you're not being honest. You know when you're trying to bend and, and fold yourself and mold yourself to the people around you. You know when you're in the moments where you could say something and you don't. Where you could do something and you don't. This, this is what really makes a difference between people who are very influential and people who are not. People who are very influential, they don't walk around the world trying to please everybody. People who are very influential, they are being honestly themselves. They are willing to rock the boat with everybody around them. They're not willing to have everybody like them. They're people who just are who they are. And that takes courage, that absolutely does. It takes a lot of courage for you to go against the grain of what everybody wants you to be. Everybody wants you to be a certain type of person in front of them, really. If they're not a spiritually evolved person and they're not open to being who they are in front of you, moment to moment, in a scary way, they're wanting, to, they're wanting you to bend and mold to them moment to moment. And this seems kind of scary because you start to think to yourself, who really likes me then? Who really wants the best for me when I'm in their presence? It's something that you're going to have to start assessing in yourself. Who are the people that I surround myself by and how do they treat me and do I want to be treated like that? How do I treat myself when I'm around others? That's even a better question. That's, that's so much better. How do I treat myself when I'm around others? Am I good to myself? Do I give myself the liberty of showing others who I am? Honestly. Do I show myself unapologetically? This is a practice. It's not something where you can go, you know what, I'm gonna make the choice right now that I'm gonna show myself to everybody I meet. Because if you do that, you're gonna come up against the resistance of having moments where you don't do it and then you feel thinking like you're a failure. Because it is a practice. And in practice, you must be somebody that's improving and you're not gonna get it right all the time. It's a lifelong practice for me as well. And what's the practice? The practice is being myself honestly moment to moment. Allowing myself to, when I feel those impulses to say something, to say it. When I feel those impulses to do something that may even not be accepted by the person I'm in the front of, but I really wanna do, I do it. That's a daily practice. That is a moment to moment practice. And that's something you're gonna have to get used to if you wanna go down a track in your life of having the influence on the world that you want. Or having the attraction that you want with women. Women are incredibly attracted to men who are honest. Honestly themselves. Not just honest for the sake of being honest because that's the way it is. No, he's being honestly himself. That's what I would prefer for women to say. Women are like, be yourself and women are like you. Your mom are like, be yourself and you know, you'll get the woman of your dreams. Your, even your grandma is like, oh Sonny, just be yourself and you know, that's the way you're gonna get the girls. And how many times have you been confused by the saying, be yourself. Swipe it out, really. Just come to this saying though. Try on something new. Be honest with yourself. Be somebody that when you're around women, 
that's okay with showing that you're a caring person. That's okay with showing that you're somebody that's understanding and soft. At the same time, being okay with the fact that if you're only that, she's gonna walk all over you. Don't be like, all right, you know what? I'm just a nice guy and I'm somebody that wants to bring good to others. I don't wanna, you know, make others not like me. You're, that's not you. That's you trying to be something that everybody will like. But when you're being honest with yourself, then you develop something called a backbone. Then you develop something called internal strength. And internal strength is developed through true vulnerability. True vulnerability is strength. And that is you being honest with yourself. So people are like, what a vulnerability? Vulnerability is being honest with yourself. Somebody I love that's like this is uh, the guy I work with. His name is Travel Bomb, or so to speak, Andy. He is honestly himself, and I love that about him. Everybody he, who he's around, they'll get a dose of who he is when he's not around them. That's exactly who he is. And that's what's so wonderful about him, and he's taught me that. He showed me practices and things for me to integrate that into myself. And it's my duty to go out and share with others to learn how to do that as well. So all you guys are watching this video, you're thinking to yourself, okay, I wanna go out and I wanna talk to women, and I wanna be honest with myself, but what happens if I feel the impulse to say I wanna fuck you? What happens when I feel the impulse to say that uh, you're sexy and I love your tits. This is where adjustment comes in. You have to be willing to adjust though. Being honest to yourself is amazing, but if you're just always being honest to yourself and you're always berating people with that, then you're not being understanding. And there's many different things that work well with being honestly who you are and that don't work well. Always being honestly who you are and not taking care into others and doing it in a harm's way, that's, that's when it's bad. That's when it's absolutely bad. You shouldn't want that. You should always want good intentions for being honestly who you are, but you don't have to be attached to the whole thing of, if I'm not being honestly who I am, um, that means that that's something that others are going to like or don't like. And something I want you to do is completely shape and mold that. I don't know if that was even fucking clear but what I want you guys to do is be honestly who you are but be willing to adjust and this one is so important because if you look at somebody like Sasha Sasha is amazing he is but he knows at times when to adjust some people say he don't know when to adjust but I've seen him adjust sometimes and sometimes not adjust but I want you guys to be someone that is honest with yourself with others and willing to adjust Meaning that you're being empathetic at the same time. You're not just steaming rolling forward without the care of others. You're just not being attached to the person who you used to be in front of them. That's what it is. Give up your attachment to who you think you are. Because the attachment of who you are is stopping you from being who you want to be. And the paradox is amazing. The paradox is you want to be who you are. You want to get women to your life. You want to be honestly who you are all the time. But at the same time, you're not willing to give up who you you think you are you're not willing to give that up do you see the conflict do you see the friction do you see that do you see the tension so to speak the tension is I want to be who I am but at the same time I don't want to give up who I think I am you got to either choose this end of the spectrum or this end and most people live in the middle they live in the middle they allow themselves to be honest with themselves in moments of anger they allow themselves to be honest with themselves when they know that somebody is completely accepting of them, when they know they have the green light to be that. And other times they're holding on to who they think they are and what they want others to perceive them as. So they're really two-sided people. And you don't want to be a two-sided person. When I'm in front of women, women are actually either on the side of I don't like him or I do like him. And that's what I want. I'm not going out there trying to make women like that. It's just that I'm not willing to bend and fold and mold myself. That's a difference than adjusting. I wanted to adjust the intensity of who I'm being at times so the woman can understand me, but I'm not willing to adjust who I am, adjust the character of who I am, adjust my being, the essence, the thing that's flowing from me, the spontaneity that flows from me, what I really love about being around people. I love expressing myself. I love being somebody that's showing love, that's showing openness, that's showing joy, that's showing truth. I love being that. Those are the things that I'm not willing to adjust. So 
So with me saying this, I don't want you guys to get lost. Stay with the clarity of when I see a woman that I want to speak to, when I'm around people that I, that, that I don't know or even that I know, I'm willing to, when I feel the impulses to say something or do something that I really want to do, I'm willing to do that. Even when it's scary. It is super scary, it is. You know why? Because you're giving up who you think you are. And every single time you give up who you think you are or you give up something you're attached to, it is a scary process. The process always has a slight or even strong intensity of, holy shit, this feels like jumping out of an airplane. This feels foreign. This feels like something that I'm not used to. And you want that. You want that, I'm not used to this, but I'm willing to let go. And that's moment to moment. That's what's gonna get you to go out there and attract women to you who really want you for you. And that's what it is all about. Seduction is all about getting women who want you for you. Who want the honest version of you. Who do, they don't want the person that you're trying to be, that you learn from the community. They really want you. Where have you lost yourself in this process of being in the community? When guys get in the community, they lose themselves a lot of times. And I've lost parts of myself and I had to come back to that. I'm a person that's very, very loving and joyful and soft and at the same time very brutal and honest and, and really strong. And the soft parts I really had to dumb down because I thought it wasn't good because I got in the community and they were saying that, you know, if you show all these sweet things, they made it seem like if you show that you're a sweet and nice guy, women will hate you. They will think that you're somebody that, you know, is a bitch and they, they can walk all over. But they never talked about what if you match that soft and sweetness with a person that's strong and that can hold his ground and that has boundaries. They never talked about that because that's the integrated man. The man who has softer aspects and harder aspects, who has femininity in him and masculinity in him that's all mature. That is the integrated man. That is the man that women really want. That's the man that they go, my God, I don't want anybody to have him but me. And most women I talk to say that to me. I want you guys to take this on board. This will change your life. Be honestly yourself. This is the best pick of advice that I think you'll ever get in your life. And I wish more guys out there were saying be honestly yourself, not just be yourself. Because it means shit when you say be yourself. But you know when you're not being honest. You do know that. That's something that right now you can look at yourself and go, I know when I was in that moment, I didn't say what I wanted to say. Because I always say to guys, and if you could take one thing from this video, is this new thing that I'm gonna tell you right now. Who you are is underneath all your unexpressed feelings. Who you are is underneath it. Express the thing that you're not expressing right now and see what happens. Put the comments below and tell me what it was like because I'm looking forward to it because I know it'll be different. I know it will. This is Tony Solo and I'm here in Barcelona. I love you guys and I see you in the next video. I have really small nipples, if you can see. And it's all about just letting go and being free and doing what you love. Until next time, see ya.